Keep going, guys. Uh, we need to get um, the. Oh, this is not a good spot for us to be. Uh, I gotta get uh, everybody topped back off, though. It's really important that we keep that courage up on them. Oh, good. Wow, we got him like down about 50% on the first land. That's not so bad. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we have a lot to do. Uh, the plan is to show you a, a couple of things, excuse me, around the base, get you updated on some stuff, hit the West Sea Cave, and see if we can grab at least a couple of Artifact of the Brutes. Uh, my Sea Army is um, leveled up and ready to go for that again. Um, possibly hit the Northeast uh, Carnal Island Cave for some more artifacts of the Devourer. I already have um, a couple extra artifact of the packs, and then we're going to uh, hit Megapithecus, Alpha Megapithecus, at the end of the episode. That is the plan anyways. Hopefully we can get to all that. Um, and so, yeah, I've got my army, my boss army, uh, all built back up and ready to go. So here's the thing. I, uh, I actually recorded an entire episode of me uh, uh, setting up um, our tech replicator and, and making some of our tech stuff. And for some reason that I have not been able to figure out, um, Adobe Encoder will not encode that video. It keeps throwing an error, and it, it's the error is completely useless. It doesn't tell me what the problem is. Um, <clears throat> if I load that project in Premiere Pro, it seems to be fine. It plays okay, but uh, I've you know every time I try and encode it, it fails. So rather than fight that, I figured, well, what the, I, I'm just going to... I'm just going to show you guys what we did. Uh, okay, so what I did was I... Well, okay, first thing I've done is I've placed a roof on the barn here, uh, which will be the floor for, you know, the next floor, of course. And we built this stairwell uh, here to go up here. And then and I put the tech replicator here. Uh, the tech rep replicator is very large, of course. But my plan for this floor here is to enclose it using some combination of metal and glass and this will become our uh our tech and trophy room okay uh so we put this up this thing was very expensive to make but we 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 actually made it and then um i'm gonna actually turn it on because one of the thing one of the things that's really cool about this is it crafts stuff very quickly uh, so I have some obsidian in here and some uh, acatina paste. So watch how fast I can craft polymer in here, except for I need to actually relearn it because I had to do a respect to remake some of the saddles that we lost. All right, so let's learn that. And then we'll go to polymer. And look at that. It's just, it's crazy fast. <laughs> it's super crazy fast. Uh, you know, and, and by way of comparison, if we make polymer in the fabricator, I, I would say that the tech replicator is probably 10 times faster than this thing. Um, oh, you know what? I don't have it. Uh, do I have any obsidian in here? Yeah, I do. Okay, so see how 
how much slower the fabricator is. So yeah, it's just it's freaking amazing. And plus, of course, you know, we need the tech replicator to make all of the tech stuff. So the items that we made were, uh, we made uh, several tech generators, and this is our tech generator for the base here. And if we look at the range, you can see that it has a huge, huge range. It covers our entire base, except for a couple of the corners over there. Um, and, you know, so th this one tech generator can power our entire base. But I, the thing is, is I don't... Um, I don't run them 24/7 because I don't have a, I don't feel like I have enough ele, uh, element to do that quite yet. So I'm still using the you know the normal gasoline generators for the time being. All right, so we made that. Um, let's see what else did we do? We made the uh, we made the tech rifle, and this is going to in particular be handy for uh, when we do the ice cave again, which we are going to be doing. Because of the fact that um, you can you can actually pull uh, Perlovias out of their mound with this rifle, so that that's the main reason why I made it. It's pretty cool, but it's it's kind of expensive, you know, because it does of course use element. What is that a Carno? Um, it has a very slow rate of fire. I mean, compared to a bullet, and its accuracy is not super good either. But it it is very good, like I said, for pulling perlovias uh, out of the ground. So we'll be using this in the ice cave. Uh, it's really cool looking though too. If we, um, thing is just awesome looking. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we made that. Uh, we also made, uh, let's see, what else? Well, we made some of the armor pieces. So I have the helmet um, and I have the boots. I, I, I can make the, the pants and the gloves, but I have not made them yet because, uh, again, I, I want to build up my element. So the boots, if you didn't already know this, the cool thing about the boots is this. It negates all fall damage. So it pretty much obsoletes the parachute, uh, which I still have in my toolbar and probably should take off. Uh, so that's the cool thing about the boots. Um, the helmet... Is it has two modes. Um, it has, I guess you call it scan mode or detection mode. So friendlies will be green, neutrals will be white, and any enemy dinos will be red. And you can see that it has quite. It can detect dinos from quite a long ways off. I mean, you know, we're looking at dinos in some cases across the river there. Uh, it's also can be really useful for detecting perlovias or not perlovias. I'm sorry. Um, what are they called? Thylacaleos in the trees as you're flying through the redwoods. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then the other mode that it has is night mode or night vision mode. Okay, so it's got this night vision mode, which is quite a bit better than the night vision glasses that are in the game. Well, I, I haven't actually tried those in Arc Ascended, so I don't know if they've improved them or not, but they, they sucked in Arc Survival Evolved. Uh, and then of course we can just uh, switch them back off. And all of that of course uses element too, so it's not something you want to keep on all of the time. All right, so uh, the, the only other thing we made, I think, well, you know what? The, I, I actually made a tech trough, and then I discovered after I made it that it doesn't really seem to have any better range than the normal troughs, which was kind of disappointing. The one advantage that it does have is that it also acts as a refrigerator. Uh, you know, so it, it'll basically preserve food in the same exact way that the fridges do. But I also thought it had... a you know, a, a longer range, but it, it doesn't appear to. So I didn't, I, I'm not running it right now because here again, I'm not keeping my tech generators on all of the time. And then the last thing that we made uh, are the teleporters. Now, um, Wildcard has apparently patched these. They, they no longer will teleport uh, large dinos. You can only teleport small dinos on these or yourself. Um, so uh, anyway, I've got one of these set up. Um, at the Green Obby, one at the Eastern Sea Base, and one at the Western Sea Base. The reason we don't see the little icon for the one at the Green Obby is because I don't currently have it powered. But if I want to just pop over to the West, uh, the Eastern Sea Base, we just pop over there. And of course, the thing that's cool about this 
is that we can teleport with all of our stuff. You know, it's not like the fast travel with the bed where you have to get naked because you can't take your stuff with you. Um, so these generators will last about 17, 18 hours or something like that per element, which isn't too bad. Um, but what I've been doing is I've been keeping uh, a little bit of element at each location that I've got the teleporter. And if I need to go to it, I'll first fast travel to turn the Ginny on, and then I'll come back, get all my stuff, and then go to the location, uh, which is something we'll need to do um, at the Green Obby. At some point, we'll do that. Uh, I also have one over at the Western Sea Base. And, you know, as I continue to build my element up, I, I will install, you know, more of these uh, in a few more, you know, strategic places too. Uh, so, yeah, it's just so useful to have these. But, you know, making this in particular is fairly expensive to make. So, um, I, you know, I, I don't have the full setup yet that I'm eventually planning to do. Let's go back to the base here. And um, there's a couple of things I want to get you updated on uh, in terms of our rating program and, and whatnot. Um, well, let's do this first, actually. Let's go ahead and drop off all of our stuff temporarily. And we're going to do the old-fashioned fast travel over to the green ob so we can start the Ginny over there. Okay, and then let's grab... Chunk of element out of that, stick it in here, and turn that on. There, now we can teleport to here as well. Um, army is ready to go, um, so I've replaced, you know, the dinos that we lost. Uh, one of you guys rep uh, pointed out to me in the comments when we did the Alpha Broodmother that I actually left three dinos behind. And apparently they weren't all the way in the, the ring, and so they never got there, which explains why... When we were in the arena, I counted only five surviving dinos, but then when we got out, there were eight. Uh, so we actually did Alpha Broodmother with three, you know, down three dinos from our, our team. So, uh, again, it's just a good testament to how strong these Therizinos are uh, for the army. So uh, the ones that survived, I renamed them Veteran just for the hell of it because, hey, they're veterans, except for the three that left behind. I don't even remember who they were, so... And then everyone that's named soldier is just the new, the new dinos. And our strongest soldier is actually 19, uh, coming in at 814 melee. So uh, that is our, definitely our strongest. All of them have 21,000 health. And then, you know, various, it, it goes down from there to the weakest melee dino being still over 700. So these guys are ready to go. And like I said, the plan is to try them out at the end of this episode on Alpha Megapithecus. Uh, Sargenta is an, is our new UD. Uh, she has a really cool kind of burgundy color, but we can't really see it in this light. And she has basically double the health of, of Big Bird. So she, Big Bird had about 20,000 health. She has 40,000 health. But she has about half the stamina that Big Bird had. Uh, Big Bird had 8,000. But I don't think we need, you know, I, I think this is fine. And, and maybe even more than we need with that. But we're going to try, you know, this out. And if I... If I, you know, determine that this still isn't enough stamina, which I don't think will happen, you know, then we can adjust. But any additional points that Sargenta gets, we're going to actually put into melee damage because, you know, uh, with both the Broodmother and the Dragon fights, um, you know, the adds will attack you and your UD. So having some extra melee on the Uteranus is, uh, is not a bad idea. Okay, so yeah, we'll come back here later and... Um, do the thing with those guys at the end of the episode. Let's go back to the base. I just love this teleporting. It's awesome. It's so cool to have this. And, you know, we need, but I still can't move, you know, like Therese or Rexes or anything like that around yet until we get the larger teleporters. And that won't happen until we start fighting Beta and Alpha Dragon. Let's get our stuff back out of here. Okay, so a couple things I want to show you um, that's going on over here. Let's see, we have uh, Lieutenant Fluff is currently in training, so he's eating babies and getting leveled up. And we're probably ready for another round of, uh, of hold on a sec. 
There we go. Uh, of beauty babes, but I'm, I'm gonna do that later. I've been doing a whole lot of braiding, so I kind of want to take a little bit of a break from it. And um, oh, look at that! Um, they just uh, Wildcard just came out with an update, and now it's now it's showing you what the follow distance is. How? Hmm. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, all right, now good news. We have we now have a breeding father with five melee mutations so that's this guy here he just grew up i mean he was just literally growing up today and so he's now our new breeding father and if you look in the lower right hand corner you can see he has 10 melee 10 points in melee mutation which basically means he's he's gotten uh, received five mutations he also has kind of a, a yellowish stripe and then a more of a red you know secondary stripe along his back there and then i've got a couple of really cool color dinos um that i've just you know saving in cryo in case we want to try and breed some colors into the final army just to really make them look cool speaking of which um these are these are m4 so four melee mutated dinos and they're kind of cool looking too they've got um they all have a red kind of a red back stripe and a blue underbelly which again is kind of hard to see in this light uh, but they're very cool looking they've all been fully imprinted and they're just spare dinos that I will insert into the army, you know, if and when we lose, you know, the soldiers we currently have and have to replace them. So I'll pull all of these guys over here by the uh, by the Lystros and get them leveled up. Sarge is also leveled up to uh, 40, 40,000 health. Uh, well, 41,000 actually. He's got a few more points left, but I'm kind of waiting to see how I want to distribute the points on these, uh, you know, next generation UDs before we decide to how to do that. All right, last thing I want to show you in terms of breeding is uh, my Rex line is on, you know, on doing its, its thing. It's on the way. Uh, so we have, we have a base father and three base mothers. And then I have a mother with a melee mutation over here. So when she grows up, I'm going to pull the base father over here and try and move that melee mutation onto a father and then, uh, you know, and use him to continue breeding. So it took me a little while to get the Rexes set up just because I had to keep trying to get all of their, you know, their, their secondary stats, like their oxygen, the weight, that kind of thing, matching and also... Um, lowering those stats too because the fewer points you have in those stats the more points there are for the good stuff you know like the health and the melee so that's going on pretty good uh, I have mentioned to you guys in the past that the the main reason I'm breeding Rexes is for the tech cave um, or well maybe not so much the tech cave but the, probably the final boss I'm not necessarily planning on using them for the guardian bosses because that's what our theory army is for all right, I think that gets us updated on everything as far as all that goes. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back out to the Western Sea Cave. I have um, raised a date on uh, and put some additional points into oxygen just so I can swim it down to the cave. Um, like I said, we've re-leveled our sea army, so it's ready to go. And by the way, I found... Um, uh, I found this Ascendant Barry Onyx Saddle Blueprint right here uh, uh, in a red sea crate. Uh, so that was a nice, nice little upgrade from the one that we have there. I haven't made anything with it yet, but we have it now, which is cool. And yeah, I think that's it. So uh, let's go ahead and head on out. Um, I think I'm going to actually take this. Now, this could also double as a as oxygen. But the thing is, is it burns through the element pretty quickly. Um, let's take a couple pieces of element. So I've still been using the scuba tank, uh, at least until we get to the point where I've got, you know, plenty of, of element to where I'm not too worried about that. I'm still trying to be, you know, somewhat conservative with it until we build, you know, build a little bit more of it up. Let's go to our teleporter here, and we're going to head over to the Western Sea Base. And we're going to try this cave again, man. This Western Sea Cave, um, you know, cave, Caverns of Lost Faith, I think it's called, it, it's kicked my butt a couple of times now. Um, we definitely don't want to take it 
for granite. So yeah, I put a, a couple extra oxygen points into the date on here. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to bring this thing some cooked meat uh, because it'll... Uh, sh oh, shit. Yeah, we need to bring it some cooked meat because it will um, heal or regain its food rather more quickly with cooked meat. I uh, could give it some of that, but it's going to need a hell of a lot more than that. So let's do this. Let's, um... Why do you have bullets on you? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go back to the base. See, this is so nice because I can just go back there with all the stuff. It's just amazing. <clears throat> so much better than the old fast travel where you can't take anything with you. And I think I did cook up some meat in here. Um, let's throw that in there and cook it up. Uh, yeah, we got, well, we got a, a halfway decent amount of cooked meat. So we'll take that for the date on, but I'm, you know, I'm going to obviously put more on it as we build things up a little more. We could even start cooking some of it just in the campfire over here. Um, why don't we do that? There's no reason not to. So I'm going to add thirsty. Let's throw some angler gel in the campfire. We'll put the cooked meat on you. And we'll grab a big chunk of red meat from here and cook it here as well. Okay, cool. Um, all right, I think we're ready to go. So let's grab our scuba gear here. And I'm going to I'm going to take my hard armor with me though too just because if we decide to get out and well we do we will want to get out on land uh, and check for loot crates, you know where the bats and stuff are. Um We you know we don't actually really need to bring these. So let's leave those there just in case, you know, we do bite the dust. At least we're not losing that. Oh, we might want um, some soups too. So let's bring some focal, some of that, Lazarus, some Freya, and some saute stuff. Okay, I think we're ready to go. So, what we're going to do is... I think I'm going to ride the pig down there uh, so I can control it. And Soldier 1 here is going to escort us. And uh, I don't think we'll have too much trouble, if any, getting into the getting the pig into the cave. And I got a, you know, I got a trough down there and everything, too. You coming, Bubba? I think I have him on uh, long, long follow, far follow. So we should probably reduce that a little bit. Mm, let's put it down to four. There we go. Okay. We'll stay on the surface until we get right above the cave, and then we'll dive down. I probably didn't even need to put any points into oxygen, but I didn't put a lot in. So, better to be safe than sorry, I suppose. Alright, where are we at? We need to go... Uh, let's see, the base is... Okay, hold on. Getting turned around here. Okay, the base is there. That means the cave is out this direction. The other thing we have to kind of be mindful of, though, is the stamina on the pig, too, because I don't think it'll... If we stop, will it replenish? Mm-mm. 
Okay. All right, let's go down. Yeah, we basically just need to go straight down from here. It's just that the pig doesn't descend very quickly. Quite slow, in fact. Um, can I just... Yeah, if I press the C key, I don't know if that's any faster than just swimming downward. Yeah, you know, the thing that's concerning me here is, hmm, is the pig's stamina. It's already down about 25%. I wonder if it would come down quicker if I wasn't riding it. Let's take it back up and replenish its stamina, and then we'll try it again. If you're new and watch me for the first time and wondering why I'm not using cryopods, it's because I decided not to use them for moving animals around the map um, way back when we first started this series. So that is why I'm just a glutton for punishment, I guess. It's more like I'm trying to just relive the original experience of, of Ark when, before cryopods existed. I mean, that's kind of the gist of it anyway. Okay, so let's let him get his stamina back. Okay, now, um, if I'm not riding in, he doesn't use stamina anyway, so uh, it's just really kind of... Oh, come on. Really? There we go. It's kind of just a matter of his stamina versus his oxygen, so... Well, I know what we could do. We could have him swim out to here. Uh, but I guess I want to see if, if he'll if he'll dive faster if I'm not riding him. Okay. Let's see if he will dive more quickly without me riding him. Hopefully we don't run into a big alpha down here. All right, so once he gets down to us here, then I'm going to ride him into the cave. Because I don't want him to get stuck like the last time we tried to do this and then drown. All right, his O2 is pretty good, actually. He's still about 80% oxygen. Okay, let's go. I think, I think we'll be able to do this okay. So his O2 is about 50% down. Um, I think what we're going to do is... And it's, it's really hard to see because it's dark and the... Yeah, let's just, we'll just go this way. I think we're, we'll be fine. There's this, There's the air pocket right there. Just have to head straight for it. All right, nice. Okay, so let's go um, around this way. Actually, you know what? I think you stay there. I'm going to bring him around this way because he can get on the land more quickly. So this is going to be huge, having a, a healer, healing dino down here. Okay. Very nice. Um, let's grab our um, otter. Well, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to leave the otter here until we at least clear the first big wave, just to be on the safe side. Because I'm, I, I, I'm not going to lie, you guys. I'm still a little bit... 
apprehensive. <laughs> this cave is <coughs> no joke. People call it the easy cave, but I am, I'm not so sure I agree with that anymore. It's, it, it's a shorter cave than the East Sea Cave, though actually the trip to the artifact in the East Sea Cave is not really that much longer, but the cave itself is, is there's more to it, of course. Uh, but I just, you know, I haven't had real good luck in here yet, but we're going to, we're going to just um, be cautious, be smart, and hopefully with a little bit of luck, we'll We'll be able to keep this army alive in here and because I need to run this cave multiple times. It's got the, one of the artifacts we need for Megapithecus. Alrighty. So everybody should be at full health. All these sharks, I believe, are at least 700 melee damage and some of them are over 800. Um, oh, dude. No, 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 no. You, your time in the water is done. You are not a water creature, you're a land creature. You shall remain here. Until, at least until I can get a teleporter down here, and then maybe someday I'll bring you back. Topside. But not, that day is not this day. Okay. Let's, um... Let's run back over here real quick and just see if there's a loot drop. I, I have never found a loot drop here in Ascendant. There used to, one used to spawn back here and evolved. Um, fairly regularly, but yeah, if it was here, we, it would be obvious. We'd see it glowing. Okay. So the plan is to leave the army here and pull hopefully smaller waves of monsters over this way rather than go to them have them come to us um when i bought the farm the last time I, I was a little overconfident and i just you know i rode the army down into there and we just got overwhelmed so we're not going to do that this time we are not going to do that this time also i'm going to put a couple things in here that we don't absolutely need to take with us um i think i want that so i can see where enemies are yeah you know what actually i'm gonna take all that because we can i can replace that stuff kind of expensive if we lose it but i can replace it we'll leave the otter here until we we clear you know at least clear the first room all right guys uh, I think we're ready to go, and um, so let's, um, oh, you know what? I need some arrows. Let me, um, I hope I left some arrows down here. I think that I did. Uh, I just want them to pull, you know, pull the... Bad guys. Oh, good. Okay, we got arrows. It's a beautiful thing. All right, you bastards. Some of them are probably going to get stuck in that little area there, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. That way they're not all coming at us at the exact same time. There's just, there's so many sharks in here. It's just insane. Oh, damn, there's a jelly down in there. I'm glad it's stuck in the mesh. See, look at how many of... Oh, my God. That is so many sharks. Okay. See, the thing is, though, so we can pull most of them over here. At least we're not also aggroing the alpha and whatever else is going to be over that way. All right. Where's Pepper? One of our uh, sharks is stuck up there.
What a bloodbath, man. And they're still coming. It's insane. That is that is crazy. And here comes an alpha too. So I was I was kind of hoping we could take them out in a couple waves at a time, but I guess this is what we're doing. I don't know how anybody else is doing. Our health is down about 15%, which isn't too bad. There's still more coming. Unbelievable. Looks like we got the whole crew here, though, so that's good. We're thinning them down. Here, let's get, uh, oh my goodness. Look at all the points I got here. I wonder if uh, my bassy got the kill shot on the alpha. Oh, we just lost a soldier. Son of a bitch. And more are coming. This is unbelievable. It almost makes me wonder if there's just an overspawn issue in this cave. I think maybe we need to bring more than eight sharks down here. I mean, if the game is throwing 50 sharks at us, we're going to throw 50 sharks at it. Look at that! There's more! you got to be fucking kidding me! What the hell? I don't know, maybe what I'd need to do is just push my way in here, clear the whole place, and then, you know, build a, a pin in the second room far enough away from the, um, the artifact, you know, so it doesn't mess up its... Um, look, there's even more coming. Wow. Uh, anyway, far enough away from the the thingy so we don't mess up the spawn and then we just teleport and only deal with the second room and never have to mess with this first room it's just absolutely insane how many sharks there are in here and there's even more coming I know you guys are probably starting to think I sound like a broken record and there's more coming and there's more coming and there's more coming I don't think we've lost anyone else that I've noticed We're down too low for... Oh, I'm not even on Pepper. I'm on Ghost. Oh, we just lost another one. I really hate the way they screw up the color in these caves, because everything is just gray. You don't know who's who in the zoo. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. Next time we come down here, we're bringing t maybe a 12-pack of sharks. Eight's just not enough to cut it. Oh, this is so intense, man. Okay. I think we've cleared the first room. Oh, my goodness. Um, ooh, you are... You're banged up, Pepper. Okay, we need to go back and see the medic. Is that shark dead or stuck? It's dead because its fins are flopped down. That is just nuts though, you guys. It really is. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> oh, and with this guy's just been stuck the whole time. You, you loser, we could have used your help. Not his fault, it's Wild Card's fault. The dumb stuckness in this game. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Can I even... Really? Oh, there we go. Okay. So that means we did that whole thing with only seven sharks. Uh... 
Wait a minute. I should have tracked all these guys. We lost... How... How was the otter killed? What? Okay, we, we lost three megs. Um, did it? I must have whistled. I gotta put them damn things on ignore whistles. Oh, jeez. Okay. Rough times, man. Um. So, we still have some megs. I think they're, they must be stuck. Let's go get them. Yeah, they're right there. Okay. Yeah, we, we have to bring more than just eight in here, you guys. This is just too much. It is just insanely too much. For just eight sharks, it, no matter how tough they are. Yeah, you're banged up pretty good, too. We got to get them healed, uh, but we don't want to... We don't want to dilly-dally too long just because of repops. But uh, some of these guys are on their last fin at a lake, you know? Fin? Sharks? You get it. You get the picture. Yeah, we just you know, we got to we just got to bring a bigger stick. That's all there is to it. And we shall do that. All right, let's just get this guy over here and then we'll get the pig going on the heels. You know, I, I was like I said, I was hoping that we could just pull, pull them in groups, but the whole damn room came and it just was nonstop. It's freaking nuts, man. Okay, I want to do one other thing. I should have done this to start with, but I just forgot to do it. Let's track everybody who's left. Uh, you. Also, ignore group whistles, because I don't want, you know, you going off into the drink either. Okay, let's get him down here and get the heels going. <sighs> okay, let me get these guys healed up, and then we'll move on into the next room. I seem to be missing a shark. Um, because it only shows that three sharks were killed so I should have five sharks here but only have four and I, I went over there and tried to find the other one and I don't know what happened to it so that's weird maybe we'll maybe we'll come across it okay um let's uh yeah let's actually actually make sure everybody has levels uh, that does have them about getting all the crap off of them later. Everybody does have some levels, it looks like, which is good. Except for you. I think you're the one that stayed behind. Okay, let's be make sure we're on Pepper, because she's stronger than Ghost. And tell everybody to move out. The pig should ignore that, because I turn ignore whistles. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know where our other shark is. Well, let's move on out. Now, usually the second room is not quite as intense as this first room is. I could be wrong about that, and if I am, we're probably going to die. But uh, yeah, that's usually the case. Oh, there's our other shark right there. Oh, nice. Okay. Are you hurt really bad? Oh, yeah, you are. Shit. Okay, um... Yeah, we... I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take you back. I think you guys will be okay right there. I'm gonna take you back and maybe put the pig on passive heal. Because this one is just about on his last legs. You know what else I should be doing is I should be looking at the 
um, some of these bags to try and recover the saddles, but I don't. Yeah, I. I it looks like they. Well, there's a few over here. Yeah, let's check them. It, it. Oh. You got stuck too. Thing is, is my pig is um. Oh sh. What the hell? I thought I was uh. Grappling. My pig is kind of out of food. <laughs> but let's just tell it to passive heal. And then uh, we'll we'll ride this shark back to the rest of the group. But let's take a quick look at some of these bags before they despawn. Um, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. You know what I need to do, though, is I need to loot them so the bag disappears. Or at least drop the shit out of them. All right, well, let's hope that um, we have enough to take on this next room here. I'll worry about going on land after we clear the the rest of the room. Alright, everybody follow. And I think what I'm going to do is let's see if we can pull these guys. little bit of luck we won't pull the entire room but we'll see one of you is a alpha a 110 alpha yowzers that's scary Ghost is too low to fight. Forgot about that. Yeah, it's these damn eels in here that make this room so hard to do um, on foot. I just have not been successful at trying to ninja the um, artifact out of here with the eels. guys are stuck in the mesh. I want to kill them though just in case we, you know, I'm planning on making a couple of trips back here. I don't want them to like break free, you know. Plus we get the XP and all that. Okay, got a couple of Rays here. Whew. Okay. Good lord. What a fight, man. Uh, Alright, where is the artifact? Let's grab it right now just so we can get another one respawning. Uh, you're like right on top of it. Damn it. Oh, here we go. Goodness, man. This cave made us work for that. Wow. Okay. 
so, um, just kind of looking to see what else might be around here. I think, I think the only fish we have left are the salmons. There, it looks like there's another shark stuck in the mesh over here. Or just stuck. Let's kill him. Alright, he's dead. So this room should theoretically stay clear for a bit. So what I'm going to do is take the... Uh, the team back to the pig and then I'm going to come back in here myself uh, on the bassy. See there's already another one that's respawned. Man I wish I had the otter now. That's okay we'll come back for it and just grab as many of these as as we can. So let's have um, well you know what actually I might just leave them. Well no let's not leave them there. We shouldn't get repops for a little while. And then while we're waiting for the third one to spawn back in, I'll go. We'll go up on the land really quick and see if there's any loot crates. Yeah, it looks like the whole team's with us. Nice. Yeah, that was a fight, man. Oh my goodness. We had to work hard for that. We surely did. Here, let's turn this off. Uh, no, 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 no. That's not what I want. I want to turn you off. In fact, let's just take it off altogether. Got some jellies down here. Let's eliminate them. Oh, and some eels, too. Let's go grab that next one. Uh, are you completely out of food? No, you're at, you're not actually. You're on passive heal, right? Okay. Okay. So um, let's pull up here. And we'll put our armor on. Um, guess I didn't bring my boots, eh? Antidote, right? Yeah. You know what? I don't actually need those anymore. So let's get rid of them. You can see that we still have the uh, shark stuck on the wall there. So we're just going to run up here real quick and see if there's a loot crate. You must be just stuck in the mesh. There's a bat over there. But yeah, if we if the loot crate was here, it would be right over this way. I'm just going to leave that bat right where he is. Let's run over here and see if the 
loot crates over here that's usually, well, I don't know if I should say usually, but sometimes over here. Let's go check down here to see if the crate that's down here is... Blood drain instantly revitalizes it, even during combat. Finally, if Tuso Tuyuthus is losing the fight, it sprays a cloud of ink into Yeah, nice. We got a red crate here. Blinding its attackers to cover Give us something good, man. There's the really a whole lot of uh, land mobs here. Is harvesting its ink. Wow, look at that. Another Ascendant Baryonyx saddle. I don't think that one's quite as good as the one we have, but still, that's pretty nice. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to bat stuck in the mesh somewhere. Um, we're going to go back to our crew. And then I'm going to come back here again and see if the artifact spawns one more time for us. Um, so we can at least nab three out of here. Any chance that bag would have a saddle in it? Oh, that's the alpha kill stuff. Okay, we'll take that. You know, I don't really need any of that other stuff. I guess, I guess we could take it for the grinder. Jellyfish, you must have repopped. Yeah, we're we're starting to get some repops here, obviously. I do have, you know, the dropped bags in the game set to. Oh, there we go. Uh, you know, to last quite a bit longer than the the normal setting. The rest of this, we're just going to dump it out. Okay, we recovered one saddle. Um, does this have a saddle? Nope. Okay, so we got two brute artifacts. Let's take one more trip and see if we can grab a third one. Is Pepper fully healed? Uh, not quite. Let's see, her melee is 611. Uh, what's ghosts? Oh shit, I'm stuck inside of her. Ghost is 573. But he's practically at full health, so. Yes, good. Another one has spawned. Beautiful. Okay, so that'll allow us to do t uh, three Alpha Megapithecus runs. Um with the with the brute artifact actually we could do four because i have one in the pedestal but i want to i want to keep that one you know those ones for the trophy room i don't know if we're missing a we got some eels there that aren't attacking for some reason oh there's a red crate down there Okay. I have better. <laughs> Still worth checking, though. All right, you guys. Um, I'm going to leave my army down here. And um, I'm going to have to raise some more sharks. But the next time we take this cave on, you know, like we did today, like head on, take it on. Uh, we're gonna I, I'm gonna bring probably 12 sharks instead of eight it's um you know it's, it, it's just it's a little too much for just eight of us um, it, you know if they're gonna just continue to come after us without stopping like they did then we need more firepower than what we've been bringing down here but like I said we have we could do three to four. Megalodon runs, or not Megalodon, uh, Megapithecus runs with what we currently have. So that'll tide us over for a little while. Anyway. And I got a bunch of inventory management stuff to do too. 
So I'm going to cut the camera here and I will meet you guys over at the uh, green obelisk to run Alpha Megapithecus for you in just a second or two. For me, it might be a little while. See you in a bit. All right, you guys, check this out. Um, a 209 Ascendant Baryonic Saddle. That blueprint, that is like really good. <laughs> I was just, um, you know, trying to get all the inventory sorted on these guys and I noticed Soldier 1 is over here stuck and I saw that crate. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. Expensive though, Whoo but man, that's gonna make our berries uh, tough. All right, we might have to, I, I might have to cryo him to get him out of there. Oh, never mind. Got him out of there. Yeah, I, I just wanted to show you that because it's like, I couldn't believe it. What a nice saddle. Okay, anyway, um, I'll see you guys over at the Green Hobby here in just a sec. All right, guys, we are here at the Green Hobby. However, we're going to change things up. Uh, I discovered that... I am short seven spino sails to do um, Alpha Megapithecus. So what did I do? I flew across the entire map, down every river, along every waterway that I know of uh, where spino spawn, and I didn't find a single one. Not one. Not even one. <laughs> and I need seven sails. So I was like, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and try Alpha Dragon? Don't know if we're ready for it, but I mean, worst case scenario, we completely wipe. And, you know, my theories are getting stronger and we just raise another army. It's a pain in the ass, but it's very doable. Um, So I think we should give it a try. Sargenta has like got twice the, um, twice the health that Big Bird did when we did gamma dragon and um this army's just a tad bit stronger than the original army anyway and so let's try it and see what happens um yeah uh, each of the theories have uh, 10 veggie cakes that one has 11 because i had an extra one and here we go <laughs> this might be a huge huge mistake uh or maybe we'll we'll be successful okay so we need Cunning, we need Skylord, Strong, and Immune. We need 15 T-Rex, Tussos, Uteranus, um, Gigahearts, and is that everything? I think we, we might be missing one thing. Uh, also, I did move the theories in a little bit closer, too, so that way we don't leave any behind, because if there's a fight we don't want to leave anyone behind on, it's this one. Alright, so let's put all this in. Let's look at... Oh, we need the Basilosaur Blubber and the Aloe Brains. Okay. Let's go grab those two things. Yeah, it's, uh... You know, the thing is, is... Alpha Alpha Megapithecus may be the easiest Alpha boss to do, and our army might be able to take him out without too much trouble. But uh, finding all the shit that you need to do it is a whole different story. Um, you know, I haven't even done a, a a Dino wipe, not even once. But uh, I'm thinking about maybe I'm going to do that just because here again, um, I didn't find a single one on the map. Okay. Oh boy, are we ready for this? <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, it's we're gonna try it and see what happens. Uh, so we're gonna take a Kalian, one of those, one of those, and one of those. We're not gonna take Freya Curry in there. And um, we're gonna use the same strategy that we did with Gamma. Um, we're gonna just kind of run around and stay towards the back, let the dragon come to us. Um, I'm not. Nobody's in it, in a group. We're all just together and. I'm just going to give them move to commands. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and get everybody couraged up here. Hey, 
and we're here okay so again let's just have everybody move around and we want to avoid fireballs and avoid the lava as much as possible did get hit a little bit there. He's calling in his ads. Get away from me, ads. Okay, he's down. Go get him, guys. Get out of here, Tyrannodons. Ah, shoot. We got hit. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get around this way. All right, he's down about 80%. That's pretty good. Let's just help out a little. Oh, never mind. I was going to say I'll use my shotgun, but I can't shoot from the back of the UD. I'd say he's down about 70% now, 75%. Keep going, guys. Uh, we need to get um, the... Oh, this is not a good spot for us to be. Uh, I got to get uh, everybody talked back off, though. It's really important that we keep that courage up on them. Oh, good. We missed him. Wow, we got him, like, down about 50% on the first land. That's not so bad. Okay, everybody go that way. All right, here comes the ads. I want to kind of stay near my guys. The fireballs don't do a huge amount of damage, not like his fire breath does. Still not the best thing in the world to be getting hit by it, but... Okay, he's down. Get him. Shit. I'm glad I have a beauty with twice the health as the other one. That's all I got to say. Down to about 40%. Okay, move, 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 move. Get away from the fire breath. Okay, move, 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 move. I'm stuck on something. Dragon's tail, I think. Okay, I need to get a little bit of stamina back. But we're doing pretty good. He's down to about 25%. We haven't lost anybody yet. I think my next duty I should probably put a little bit more stamina on. Okay, down to about 15%, I'd say.
Doing good. About 10%. Oh, uh, okay, we just lost our first theory. Man, that's pretty damn good, though, not to lose one until the dragon's at 10%. All right, there goes our second one. It's about 5% now, though. Yeah, we got it. We got this, you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did that with only losing two Therizitas. Fantastic. There it is. Whew. I, I'm, I gotta say, we, we did a little bit better than I was expecting to do. 440 element. My goodness. That is a nice reward. Um, and, more importantly, we now have our uh, all of the tech Ingrams. Okay, let's see if we can find the saddles. Um, is this a bag here? No, uh, actually, is it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's get that, and then... I think we only lost two theories. I think we only lost two. That is really good. I, I have to say, I... I'm, I'm impressed. I did not expect that we would do this well on Alpha Dragon. And keep in mind, too, the... You know, the, these are, are not my full fully mutated theories. These are some of them... Uh, our original quote-unquote Gamma Army. But man, these Therizinos are just so good for all three of these bosses, you guys. You just can't go wrong with them, you know? Well, I'm excited, man. I'm happy. Okay. Well, there you go. There, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Alpha Dragon is down. <coughs> um... Let's look at something here. If we go to do do do, yeah, tribe manager. Yeah, we only lost two Therizinos. Man, that is that is so good. <laughs> okay, uh, Ingrams. We should now have unlocked every single tech Ingram except for the, for this. Oh, this is nice, you guys. This is so nice. We can do the large teleporter now. We can do the tech transmitter, which means we can do the boss fights from that transmitter. We don't have to come to the green obby anymore. We got the chest piece, so we can now, you know, have the jet pack. Um, I guess I have a, a medium teleporter. That uh, that requires 45 element and 75 black pearl. This one requires 85 and 150. The polymer and the metal is pretty expensive on that one, though. Oh, man, this is just... This is cool. I'm, like, excited. <laughs> I'm, like, giddy. Uh, the vacuum compartment moon pool. That is neat. We we can use this to, to make, like, an underwater base. So cool. All right, you guys. Well, I had planned for us to do our second, our, our second shot at Alpha Megapithecus. Well, we beat him the first time, too. But... Instead, we did Alpha Dragon, and boy, did we do him do him a good one. Um, That's just amazing. You know, the thing too is, uh, uh, let, let's look at something here real quick. If we can, I get into there. All right, so Allosaur brains are easy to get. Tyrannosaurus arms are easy to get. Basilosaur blubber is easy to get. Two so tentacles are sort of easy to get, but I have quite a few of them. UD lungs are pretty easy to get. The Giga Hearts really are the only thing on here that are more challenging. Not that they're impossible. So I'm just thinking, you know, we got 440 element out of that deal. If we if we bred a little bit stronger army, a little bit stronger UD, we could actually farm Alpha Dragon. Um but probably what it'll amount to is we'll probably farm Alpha Dragon and Alpha Megapithecus, you know, just depending upon what's what stuff we have. Because we still have to do the tech cave, don't forget that, you know. So I'm still going to be breeding uh, a stronger Therizino army in addition to our Rex army that we're working on. Um, so, you know, that's not going to stop. But the cool thing is now we have full access to all of the tech, and that's just going to be awesome. All right, well, anyways, guys, um... 
I am going to go ahead and let you guys go here. I'm um, not sure what we'll do in the next episode. Uh, I do have on the to-do list taming a, um, a, a Rhino Natha and a car, a car, 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 I don't know why I have such a hard time with that name. Uh, but I have not seen one of those at all on the map, which is another reason uh, why I think I'm going to do a wild dino wipe. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go here. So thanks, everybody, for watching. hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.